Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today we will be giving our photos a cyberpunk synthwave vibe. I'm starting with one layer, which houses the photograph I want to edit. I also recommend having a reference photo handy, which will help you reference the effect and which colors to manipulate. First, we are going to go up to Colors and select Color Balance. Starting with the shadows, we want to make them deep magenta purple. To do this, I will select the shadow option. Then, using the color level adjusters, I will drag the bars more towards the color I want to achieve. Between cyan and red, I will drag more towards red. Between magenta and green, I will drag more towards magenta. Between yellow and blue, I will drag a bit more towards blue to get more of a purple color. Experimenting with how these options interact will help you achieve the color you want. Sometimes using an intense amount of one color will create unwanted deterioration. See how some unwanted artifacts and noise develops on this photograph as I move this bar to the largest amount towards magenta. It's best to slowly drag these bars until you have the effect you want. Moving on to the midtones, we are going to apply the same technique as before, but with a bit more magenta and cyan mixed in barely touching the blue. This will help create a nice color gradient from purple to pink, then to cyan when we edit the highlights. Again, these amounts will differ depending on the light and colors of your original photograph. For example, I really want these mid areas in the road to pop with color. I will experiment by turning this top bar more towards cyan. See how it brings out these reflections. To compensate for this addition of blue, I will also add a bit more magenta to create a more pink vibe in the rest of the midtones. Finally, with the highlights, we want a light blue. I'm going to start by dragging the first and last bar towards cyan and blue. You can add some green from the middle bar if you want a more turquoise effect. Once we are happy with the effect, we can apply it by clicking OK. Here's one quick tip. If you want to quickly change the temperature of this photograph, go up to Colors and click on Color Temperature. With this, we can further adjust the vibe of this photo. If you want a more blue-dominated effect, Drag the intended temperature to the left. For a more red dominated effect, drag this to the right. After you get your desired effect, click OK. Note that you can skip this step if you are already happy with the colors in your photograph, which I will do. Now my photo is a little lighter than I want it to be so I'm going to edit the contrast and brightness. To do this, I'll again go up to the Colors menu and select Brightness and Contrast. As I increase the contrast, the darker areas of the photograph will become more prominent. I can also turn the brightness down to darken the whole photograph. Experiment with these options to create an effect you are happy with. One last touch I like to put on these photos for a real retro vibe is the Video Degradation Filter. To apply this filter, go up to Filters, Distorts, down to Video Degradation. This drop-down will allow you to apply different types of this effect. I usually like to use the striped, or wide striped effect. And here is our final photo. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Have a request for a video? Drop it in the comments! For more in-depth graphic design discussion, be sure to join our Facebook group, where you can share your projects and ask questions.